Guys, what did they really, really happen for this November? Seriously, it's really, really bad. Um, just yesterday, especially yesterday, uh, 1st of November, uh, I saw in the news. In fact, because of that, some friends told me uh, that they are giving social media a break. They are leaving for some time just because of yesterday news about david osom death fire outbreak in vi fire outbreak lagos migos the rapper um one of the, the rappers you know in the group migos that stake off was shot dead just negative negative reports yesterday too many among the comments about uh david son was um the band's um story the the death of his own son uh i mean he also drowned um in swimming pool now you know thinking about the whole thing that must have happened at that time yes i know the police have arrested you know david those maids and those that were supposed to take care of the house and the baby i mean the people in the in the house right now i'm thinking what who is that one person because there's always that one person in charge of all these things right what i'm trying to say is that one person that you know is in control of everything when the video is not around like uh, where is um if i what is what is your job now what are you supposed to be doing you know the head of all of them all these maids the p person they listen to when chioma davido is not around that we they need to ask that person a question you can see the maids you know they are not looking we can blame like everybody but who is that one person that's supposed to be you know looking out for like everything important in the house making sure that you know people are doing what they are supposed to do yes they might have um you know um davido's son right they might they might put in the care of some a particular person but what are, what is that person doing at that time and also there's the question of cctv camera they probably be like a cctv camera but guys, you know the saddest thing right now? That cannot bring back Davido's son. It can't. At the end of the day, even though, like I said, police arrested 8, 10 people, they will still release them. I'm, I'm sure of that. Uh, you know, when it comes to things like this, at the end of the day, they forgive those people. At the end of the day, they release them. I mean, Davido is a celebrity, his father is rich. You wouldn't really want that burden on him. You know, people that are saying stuff now will also say, ah, Davido in prison, those people, blah, blah, blah. So in order not to, you know, create that heat, they just, you know, let it go. And uh, according to report, they said um, Davido collapsed uh, and trauma collapsed. I mean, these are reports we didn't, there was no strong proof that this, you know, happened. But yeah, these are you know um report out there that oh they will collapse and German. i mean anybody it could anybody would if they didn't collapse they'll be close to collapsing if they didn't cry they'll be heartbroken you know like seriously heartbroken and again there's this thing about ritual let me read this comment i'm just going to read one out of many comments though this person said what did i say he needs a new sacrifice he can't keep using his friends and now he used his child because chelma he doesn't care about open your eyes this is one of numerous comments about rituals remember i did a, a video oh my god remember i did a video <laughs> that's a call remember i did a video about um davido and his friends sometimes things like that mishap is bound to happen you know things like that is bound to happen although you know um a friend of mine always say there's no smoke without fire um while we're discussing this he said this is just too much because i was like i mean it could be coincidence it could be like anything it was like it's just too much davido is either they are after davido or davido knows what is going on or his, his father knows what is going on see you see life right i i think when it comes to being um spiritual things i think we should also consider that but why we're considering it's very delicate because you could also become a victim now that takes us to the next one the spiritual phase right so this 
prophet. This prophet, you know, came on social media to talk about his warnings, you know, towards David Doe and what would happen to the son. He posted this in January, according to him. Um, I tried to check if this was edited. I don't think so. I think he actually uh, said it. And this guy came back on, on social media. My, 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 you know, what I just don't like is to seem like a bet that like, yes, I said it and it happened. That kind of feeling is what I don't like right you know um this was his post um um uh, it's just how he put it like he, he like he won a bet or something i you know my you see if your prophecy can't avert or change something i don't know although i saw some comments saying um if the video had done what he's supposed to do the child wouldn't have died or if he had followed the inst instruction or if he had seen this but i will tell you something uh because of time i won't be able to share the full detail but i've seen situations where prophets prophets uh rather will say oh do this do that do this and that thing will still happen I've seen it several times. Anyways, let us read this. It says, pray for David at Dele KK Davido. Um, in a vision I saw uh, 2022 with so many opportunities for him. Reward and awards. Uh, this is the biggest year for him, even until 2023. Uh, but let's pray against any arrow of death, especially against the sun, any any close loved ones. Uh, God revealed this to me that it will happen if prayers are not made i see t and y as a very significant clue to this prophecy as well things are happening okay now this more like this pastor gained popularity <laughs> popularity uh, through this now let us let us watch this uh video and let's see if i could you know just react to it you know let's see t, let my name is prophet samuel king okay and this is a message to make more highlights on the prophecy that was given to David Doe on the 7th of January through my Facebook account. And uh, before I would like to continue, I'd like to send my condolence message to the family of David Adelike, who just lost his son, if I'm. I'm not here to show that I'm the best prophet on earth, which is one of the things I would like to be emphasizing in my prophecy highlight. When I give this prophecy on the 7th of January, I try to do some move to make some move, but of course, I am not among the so-called names of the big men of God in Nigeria, who probably can speak to some celebrities, and if I had spoken, I would have been uh, called uh, one of the hungry prophets <coughs> looking, for, um, looking for fame, or trying to look for money. You know, in our days now, God is speaking, but many people have underrated and underestimated the word of God. So, prophets are being abused because of a whole lot of things, misconception about spirituality, faith, and the prophetic. So, I had to keep myself distance from trying to push, because who would believe if I had said this was going to happen? And if you read that prophecy very clear, it said there are two clues one has already been fulfilled, two has already been fulfilled. The first is the death of David's son. And the first clue, there were two clues said T and Y. The T stands for Thursday. And if you see all the happenings happen right now, it just happened after the birthday of David O and it happened his son, which happened on Thursday, the twentieth. Okay. I think at this point, you know, this man uh, might get uh, either Davido's attention or Choma's attention. You know, people people would, um, if even if Choma is not interested, um, I'm sure uh, his close friends will say, reach out to this man, and let him tell you the second one. And like I said, I've seen uh, situations where you do all these things and, you know, something still happen, right? 
uh, something bad still still happen. Now there's more prophecies, you know. Um, you know, I, again, I'm just, you know, we don't even know what is right and what is wrong. The, the man says, oh, because it's not part of the big names in Nigeria. I don't think so. I just think that that because there's a lot of fake people out there, fake pastors, fake prophecies. And of course, you know, I can come to anybody and tell them this bad thing will happen. Bad thing happens every day, right? So maybe I hit my leg or something happened to me. See, I remember I told you then that bad thing will happen and it's happening. You know, we could easily just say because we human beings it happens every day. So that's why it's hard to believe or to know who is actually telling the truth. So even though you're popular, the video might not still believe you. Now, about another prophecy that I stumbled on. Uh, they said that uh, they shouldn't bury Davido's son. <laughs> now prophets are popping up, like they're coming out. Oh, don't do this, don't do that. Don't you shouldn't do this. This one will happen. This prophet says, "Solution Family Worldwide is the name." Said, "I am a prof I am prophet Christian Shola. Please don't uh, bury that boy yet. He's a destiny child. Take Ifa into Solution Ground <laughs> on or before 24 hours." 21 hours after this message and see what will happen god of solution can never fail i mean anything can happen right and uh, but it's just i don't believe this i'm i'm sorry I, I think i think people just want to jump on this train this particular one i do so what you're trying to tell me is you know when you take him there god will you know because is it because it's davido's son what about other kids has it happened in your church before where you 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 know you pray for the dead and they you know rose back up it's yeah if it's happened before with other people who we'll understand in your church right and i'm sure this is something that would have would have seen on social media and stuff or you're just doing this to get attention uh, people are insensitive and insensitivity is not just about, oh man, I don't care about David O's uh, son being dead. I don't care about. No, it's not just that. It is. It's also, um, you know, about you saying, just putting out stuff solely for attention on that issue, especially when it involves the dead. Some people are also using this to get attention. He said, um, uh, happy um, second birthday, Ifanya Deleke. I see dark cloud around you uh, by this month next year. I see you struggling inside water for life. I pray you overcome all obstacles against you in Jesus' name. This is another one. <laughs> you know, I, I feel sad for Davido and, and Chioma. It's just cool to see, you know, some some davido's friends uh coming on social media i mean we know they are they are fake people out there but they are also real people they are just small you know and we, we wouldn't know but i saw this pastor pastor toby uh who canceled this birthday bash because of that so that's very good and i also um uh, saw the news about a whisk kid um removing is the, the, the his post on uh, about his uh, album removing it on social media you know just to pay um uh, respect to you know his colleague davido that's cool you know i also saw dj copy's comment about this uh, a heartbroken uh post as well you know these these are nice but you know the, the, there's also the 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 discussion about about um those people we just come on social media to mourn with Davido just because Davido's son, just because Davido is popular. You know, I mean, just like this model who said that, I mean, is it because Davido is popular that we have to, you know, say all this, come out and say all this nice, what about other people? Uh, personally, I think what he, this guy, this model has said is, I, I think, it, it, I wouldn't say he's exactly right. But he's got a point but at the wrong time at the wrong time because seriously this is social media that is expected to happen fakeness will be there but there's also you know few people that are actually real if you feel for davido don't feel for only davido's child feel for every nigerian child that dies because they cannot eat 
feel for every Nigerian child that because their parents cannot pay their, 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 their medical bills. Feel for every human being that loses their life. Stop making a choice of who you extend your humanity towards. Mona, stop him. Mona, stop him. Love everybody. Feel bad for everybody so that we can do something about it. If now poor man picking you, disconnect yourself from him and feel like it's none of your business. But he's a rich man's child. Everybody wants to act as if they Please. None of us will lose our children. It's, I'll call it a dark December. Um, yeah. Uh, PDP suspends political activities after, you know, the, the death of the son. And uh, police are on this matter. You know, they're still on it. And I think we should stop blaming other people. We should stop passing, you know, judgment immediately. We should stop abusing other people. Stop saying this person should do this. This person should have done this. I mean, Princess, you know, the comedian or comedian uh, released a post concerning that you know people went to her page started bashing her because she posted something different but i think she shared something from another person's post and they started bashing her oh you're insensitive you are this you are that you know david just lost his son and stuff like that see let us stop deceiving ourselves oh. eh? let us stop deceiving ourselves even we we have families too right it will not be we, we not love davido past davido's son uh, davido himself rather we don't love davido's son past davido himself so why are we abusing or that why are we attacking other people and it's and it's not everybody that will just rush on social media or comes or, or sleeps and hits it on social media some people hardly show up on social media even myself as a blogger sometimes right i just choose to stay away from social media sometimes i'll just choose to stay away from social media for a day for 24 hours i'll just say for my own sanity not to talk of people that i mean they, 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 this is not their job <laughs> you know just just think about that so i think we should also consider things like that i didn't even hear anything i was walking and i saw um, um something with neptune's name and i'm like oh let me post it i just posted it and kept you know moving on i didn't go to my page to uh, i didn't go uh, online to start searching for anything so don't come to my page and start I'm uh, cursing, cursing me that my own children too. If you curse me, oh my lo maku, oh maku lo et ni re ni jero. What kind of rubbish is that? No, everybody wakes up. Do you know what I'm going through? Do you know where I am? I've been on my way since morning. I left my house since morning in the rain. I when I almost got to where I was going, obviously I saw the whatever, and I just posted it. I even didn't check anything of my phone. I just kept on using it. Mukofin shema plus bitimolo because I mean I I got lost at a point. And I didn't hear anything. Is it possible for me to hear that somebody lost their child and now pretend as if I didn't hear? I'm not like you. You are the people who just, who just, who just like pitying people. I don't pity people. I empathize with them. I'm actually a, comp a compassionate person. So don't come to my page. Come and write rubbish. And I also saw um, this guy's slim case, you know, coming out on social media. Uh, to say that people need to you know like how people move on is that you you can't stop people from moving on you see le let us be real right even michael jackson mm, let's let's be real even michael jackson as popular as popular as michael jackson was people still move on that is life don't abuse another person for this you don't know what we, they were doing at that time you don't know whether they are busy at that just mourn your mourn and leave other people it's important because everybody get their own problems too as as much as it's sad it's very very sad but everybody have their own problems too and i think it's important that we also recognize that if you can't recognize the fact that other people have their own problems that means you are a, you are a hypocrite now understand if you can if you can recognize that i just they, they, they check some posts some people see they post some things some see they post some people don't post another thing today now for their own life side they don't move on be that so if anything happened to me to now i saw people could just move on the next day and r.i.p r.i.p and then the next time they just post another skit People just move on like that. 
you don't notice maybe say maybe small picking you know small picking the way people move on on social media it's so quick i be on post i just be like say ah, what is going on here people will just move on that's how we go down after two days now they post they go and they wonder see people they forget people even 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 for that can do night, some still they chi. But don't they forget to be that. Something bad does happen like that. You can't check say what if you can't post that same day. It's no let's let, 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 let's be let's be real with ourselves. No, let's let's think. Um, I believe today, self, apart from saying one post called less visible OBO, nobody should post anything today at all. He is a legend we have to respect today and about you know evil eyes on social media and you know like people sharing um information because i saw a post about bad people on social media remember choma and davido were kissing having fun showing all these things and afterwards we heard the report that you know davido's son is gone so what this person wali jana is trying to say look things happen on social media right so keep your private life out of social media see there are people that are not on social media bad things still happens to them this one don't happen you know it don't happen understandable in David's case they are popular so they have to be extra careful and it's got a point about social media if you think deeply about it too it's got a point because these people are popular they you cannot be putting everything on social media i believe that you know it can happen where people seeing that you are in london today you guys are kissing in the club today you guys are having fun tomorrow in social places today they know what is going on they, they feel bad about it and we can look down on the fact that there are some people who will take your case to um you know the the traditionalist like i said at this point we can't downplay anything i'm not saying anybody did this to chairman no this could be natural like it could just happen right but thinking about it again, though, because we're not downplaying anything, right? Chioma is in the middle of a serious competition. Different baby mamas. Davido is rich. So, if it's not spiritual, it could be something else. That is why in a situation like that, <clears throat> everybody just have to be careful. Especially Chioma, have to be careful. Davido himself you know having thousand people around him have to be careful i mean nobody is perfect um um things happen in life some things are challenges in life you know but yeah guys let me know what you think um about this um in the comment section below here is where i'm going to hold it your thoughts are very important leave it in the comment section below uh well, guys like this video share subscribe until we we'll see you next time peace plans for 11 11 is hereby cancelled we all have to stand in faith with the bereaved i'm a father i understand what it means for people to lose their loved ones i've been a pastor for 18 years and so we're all standing in solidarity. I want this video to go quickly to those who might be able to retrieve their ticket money, might be able to take their gift back and all those stuff. I want them to be aware quickly. Also, the service that we plan for the 13th of November is already, we already have more than 3,000 registered. We would have to downsize it to just about a thousand people we're going to worship and pray, trusting God to take the couple through these difficult times. It is a very hard time for us as well. We've put our heart into November, but it is not worth a life. And for this life, we all stand to pray. We're all in a sober moment. And may God strengthen the family and all the families that are mourning all over the world. God bless you.